For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, shaping the very fabric of global air travel. Their aircraft are the backbone of long-haul routes, setting standards for safety, efficiency, and comfort. Airlines have had little choice but to rely on these two giants, granting them immense economic and political influence. Their rivalry has driven innovation. Boeing's 747 and 787, Airbus's A380 and A350, pushing technology forward at breakneck speed. The world learned to fly on their terms. But today, that order has been shaken. A stunning announcement from Shanghai signals the arrival of a new challenger. For years, Western analysts doubted China could catch up in the complex world of wide-body jets. Yet, the news today suggests that skepticism was misplaced. The era of the comfortable duopoly is ending faster than anyone expected. A new player, backed by the full might of a superpower, has landed a dramatic blow. The ripples will be felt in boardrooms and government offices worldwide. The ground beneath Boeing and Airbus is shifting. A new chapter in aviation history is being written, and its opening lines are bold and clear. The source of this seismic shift? The Comac C929, China's first domestically developed long-range twin-aisle jet. Today, Comac announced its C929 prototype completed a non-stop 12,000-kilometer test flight, Shanghai to London, non-stop. This is more than a technical milestone, it's a declaration of intent. The C929 is the crown jewel of China's Made in China 2025 initiative, aiming for self-sufficiency in high-tech industries. For Beijing, building the C929 is about national pride and strategic security, breaking dependence on Western aircraft. The project began as a joint venture with Russia, but is now led by COMAC, symbolizing China's independent technological prowess. The successful test flight validates years of investment and ambition. Western analysts once dismissive are now speechless. The 12,000-kilometer flight proves COMAC is solving the complex puzzle of modern aircraft manufacturing. The Dragon has built wings and shown they can cross oceans. A formidable new force has arrived in global aviation. The world is watching. The COMAC C929 is engineered to compete head-to-head -head with the world's best. It's a clean-sheet design built from scratch to incorporate the latest technologies. With seating for 280-320 passengers, it targets the heart of the long-haul market, rivaling the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Its fuselage uses advanced composites for lighter weight and better fuel efficiency. The cockpit features state-of-the-art fly-by-wire controls and large modern displays. Aerodynamic wings with curved tips reduce drag and boost range. Comac's ambition is clear, not just to fly far, but to do so efficiently and economically. The C929 is also a pillar of China's strategy to build a complete domestic aviation ecosystem, reducing reliance on Western suppliers. Vertical integration is key, insulating China's aviation industry from geopolitical risks. The journey has been challenging, requiring mastery of complex system integration and coordination among thousands of engineers. The C929's design is more than an airplane, it's a blueprint for China's industrial ambitions. Every system, every component, is a step toward technological independence. The stakes couldn't be higher. The 12,000-kilometer test flight is a defining moment. Long-haul range is the ultimate test of an aircraft's capability and reliability. 13 hours in the air pushes every system to its limits, engines, controls, and cabin environment. Comac engineers monitored thousands of data points, validating fuel efficiency and structural integrity. This flight wasn't just a technical test, it was a global statement. The C929 can now connect Beijing to San Francisco, Shanghai to London, non-stop. It's no longer a paper project, it's a real contender for the world's busiest routes. The aviation community must now reassess what's possible. COMAC has demonstrated a deep understanding of the complexities of long-haul flight. The successful mission silences many critics, the question is no longer if China can build a wide-body jet, but when it will enter service. How does the C929 stack up against the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350? With around 280 seats, the C929 fits squarely between the 7879 and A350-900, right in the market's sweet spot. Its 12,000-kilometer range covers most major international routes, like its rivals, the C929 uses advanced composites and new-generation engines for top-tier fuel efficiency. COMAC is leveraging China's electronics expertise for advanced avionics and intelligent cabin systems. The biggest potential advantage? Price. With state backing, 
Comac could offer the C929 at a significant discount, tempting cost-conscious airlines. But numbers aren't everything. Boeing and Airbus have decades of reliability data and global support networks. The C929 is still an unknown quantity. Airlines will demand proof of long-term reliability and after-sales support. Matching the specs is one thing. Matching real-world performance is the true test. The competition is just beginning. The biggest challenge for the C929 and China's aviation ambitions is engine technology. The prototype flew with foreign engines, a critical dependency Beijing wants to break. The goal powered the C929 with the domestically developed AVIC CJ2000 engine. Jet engines are among the most complex machines ever built, requiring mastery of advanced materials and extreme engineering. The West has spent decades perfecting this technology. China is racing to catch up. Success is non-negotiable. Without a reliable Chinese engine, the C929 remains vulnerable to sanctions and export controls. The transition to the CJ2000 will require rigorous testing and global scrutiny. Airlines must be convinced the new engine is as safe and efficient as Western models. This is the final, most difficult piece of the puzzle. Engine self-reliance will open doors for future civil and military aircraft. The C929's ultimate victory will be when it flies with a Chinese-made engine. That day will mark true technological independence. Despite its triumph, the C929 faces a tough road to global acceptance. Certification is the next hurdle, first in China, then with the FAA and ESA, the world's gold standards. These processes are rigorous, technical and increasingly political. Western regulators will scrutinize every detail, demanding transparency and proof of safety. Geopolitical tensions and skepticism about China's safety culture add to the challenge. Comac must build trust through flawless performance in daily airline operations. The first years of service with Chinese airlines will be critical. The world will watch for reliability, safety, and rapid response to issues. Only a spotless record will convince global markets and regulators. Certification is a marathon, not a sprint. The C929's future depends on earning trust, one flight at a time. The C929's arrival is a geopolitical earthquake, not just a commercial challenge. Aerospace has long symbolized Western technological dominance and global influence. The C929 disrupts this, offering countries a powerful alternative to Boeing and Airbus. China's push for a domestic aerospace ecosystem could split the global market, one block aligned with the West, another with China. Nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America may find the C929 attractive, shifting the balance of industrial power. COMAC, with state support, can compete aggressively on price and financing. Western manufacturers face new pressure to innovate and may seek government backing. The era of a comfortable duopoly is over. Fierce three-way competition has begun. Aviation is now a central arena in global strategic rivalry. The C929 gives China a potent tool of influence. The battle for the skies is now a battle for global power. The C929's successful test flight marks the end of an era and the dawn of a new one. Boeing and Airbus now face a credible challenger with the resources to reshape the industry. For airlines and travelers, this means more competition, better prices, and faster innovation. Expect advancements in fuel efficiency, comfort, and sustainability as the three giants compete. Comac's path to global success is long. Engine self-reliance, certification, and support networks are major hurdles. Trust must be earned through millions of safe, reliable flight hours. The C929's entry will start with Chinese airlines, then expand to friendly nations. But a new titan has been born. Today's flight signals a permanent shift in global aviation. China has proven it can master one of the world's most complex technologies. The age of three-way competition is here. The balance of power is shifting. The future of flight just got a lot more interesting.